welcome back to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Kern. Today's poem is by Percy Shelley, who lived from 1792 to 1822. He lived a short but tumultuous life. He came from a prominent English family and was educated at the highest quality. And he was also married to the novelist who wrote Frankenstein, Mary Shelley. Shelley is regularly associated with the likes of William Blake, John Keats, Lord Byron, Thomas Hardy, Robert Browning, sometimes for their similarities uh, in, the, in their verse, but also because of the various friendships that he had with some of them. His reputation has ebbed and flowed, but there is no doubt that the poem that I'm going to read today, Ozymandias, is one of the most famous poems ever written in the English language, and it's at least one of the most memorized and most well-known poems uh, that you could possibly ever hear. It was composed in 1817, published in 1818. One of the things that I like about this poem that I hesitate to even give away right off the bat, but which is worth noting, I think it's just, it's fun, if nothing else, is that there is something of a framework for this poem in which the poet is telling of how he met someone who then told him a story. So you'll see how that plays out here in just a second. This is an irregular sonnet. A lot of these early poems have been sonnets, and so it's fun to, uh, and interesting, I think, to see the different kinds of sonnets. So here's one more. So again, this is an irregular sonnet, rhyming A, B, A, B, A, C, D, C, E, F, E, G, E, G. This is Percy Shelley's Ozymandias. I met a traveler from an antique land who said, Two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert. Near them, on the sand, half sunk, a shattered visage lies, whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command tell that its sculptor well those passions read which yet survive, stamped on these lifeless things, the hand that mocked them, and the heart that fed. And on the pedestal, these words appear. My name is Ozymandias, king of kings. Look on my works, ye mighty and despair. Nothing beside remains. Round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone and level sands stretch far away. Once more. I met a traveler from an antique land who said, Two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert. Near them on the sand, half sunk, a shattered visage lies whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command tell that its sculptor well those passions read which yet survive, stamped on these lifeless things, the hand that mocked them and the heart that fed, and on the pedestal these words appear. My name is Ozymandias, king of kings. Look on my works, ye mighty and despair. Nothing beside remains. Round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone and level sands stretch far away. This has been The Daily Poem. Thanks so much for listening. Be back tomorrow with another episode.